Norman Ray Torog was an American film director and screenwriter. From 1920 to 1968, Torog directed 180 films. At the age of 32, he received the Academy Award for Best Director for Skippy, the youngest person to win the award. He was later nominated for Best Director for the film Boys Town. He directed some of the best-known actors of the 20th century, including his nephew Jackie Cooper, Spencer Tracy, Mickey Rooney, Judy Garland, Deanna Durbin, Frederick Astaire, Gene Kelly, Deborah Kerr, Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis, and Elvis Presley. Torog directed six Martin and Lewis films, and nine Elvis Presley films, more than any other director. For his contribution to the motion picture industry, Norman Torog has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1600 Vine Street. Early life, Norman Torog was born February 23, 1899 in Chicago, Illinois, to Arthur Jack Torog and Anita Torog. His father's naturalization records claim that Arthur was born in the Russian Empire in 1872 or 1873 and naturalized as a minor, although later census records claimed Arthur's parents were from Germany. His mother was from New York, although later census records portrayed her parents as being from England. His parents were married in Chicago in 1896. Norman became a child performer on the stage at an early age, making his movie debut at the age of 13 in the short film Tangled Relations, produced by Thomas Inc. Studios. In the eight years until his next screen credit, he worked in theatre, mostly off-Broadway. Film career in 1919, Torog returned to the movie industry as a director, collaborating with Larry Semin in The Sportsman. In the coming decade, he made 42 films, mostly shorts. During this time, he developed his style, his forte being light comedy, though he could also deal with drama and maintain complex narratives. In 1931, he made his breakthrough, directing Skippy, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Director. Recently, Torog's award statue sold for $301,973 at auction in Beverly Hills. Torog's nephew Jackie Cooper was also nominated for his performance. In his 1981 autobiography Please Don't Shoot My Dog, Cooper wrote that, during filming, Torog threatened to shoot his dog if the child actor could not cry for the scene. Skippy tells of the adventures of the eponymous hero, his antics and adventures with his friend Suki as they try to come up with a license for Suki's dog, save his shanty town from demolition, sell lemonade and save for a new bike. Based on a popular comic strip character, its sentiment, comedy and moral didacticism, added to a gritty realism made it a huge success, so much so that the studio immediately scheduled a sequel, Suki, for the following year. The next few years saw Torog enter the third chapter of his career, as an established director who could work in a number of genres. He directed a series of well-received films, including If I Had a Million, which showed his ability to work with an all-star cast of Euro Gary Cooper, George Raft, Charles Lawton, and W. C. Fields. In 1934, he directed We're Not Dressing, starring Bing Crosby, Carol Lombard, George Burns, Gracie Allen, and Ray Milland. In 1935, he directed the star-studded musical showcase The Big Broadcast of 1936 starring Bing Crosby and George Burns and Gracie Allen. In 1938, Torog brought all his skill and experience to bear with one of the liveliest and most successful adaptations of classic literature. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer was an artistic and commercial triumph. The year also brought Boys Town showing Torog to be more than capable of sustaining a dramatic narrative and earning him another Academy Award nomination. It wasn't all success though. Lucky Night starring Minna Loy and Robert Taylor was a turkey, and while Torog shot test scenes for 1939's cinematic extravaganza The Wizard of Oz, Victor Fleming was chosen to direct. Torog was reassigned to work on The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, a change which he had little to no say in. He went on to win Best Director later that year, despite losing out on directing Oz. He did, however, helm the last of MGM's big pre-war musical showcases, 1940's Broadway Melody, starring Fred Astaire and Eleanor Powell. He expanded his range into biographies, working with Mickey Rooney again, 
in the well-received Young Tom Edison. He directed Judy Garland twice, in Little Nelly Kelly and The Small Town Girl Gets Big Break presenting Lily Mars. After directing retakes for a wartime propaganda film, Rationing, Torog entered new territory with a docudrama of the atom bomb, the beginning or the end. It was back to his metier of light comedy for his next couple of outings, The Bride Goes Wild with Van Johnson and June Allison, and Big City, both in 1948. Remarkably, he also directed a third film that year combining the genres of comedy, drama and biography and dealing with an all-star cast. Words and Music was a fictionalized biopic of the relationship between Richard Rogers and Lawrence Hart. It starred, among others, Judy Garland, Gene Kelly, Mickey Rooney and Sid Karras. By now, Torog had established a reputation as a director who was comfortable working in the musical and comedy genre, and who could be relied upon to work with slight matriala Euro qualities which would be useful later in his career. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis had been a double act since 1946 and had made five films together, three Martin and Lewis topliners, before Torog directed Jumping Jacks, regarded by many Martin and Lewis fans as the finest of their films. Torog worked well with the duo and he went on to direct them in The Stooge, The Caddy, Living It Up, You're Never Too Young, and their penultimate film together, Partners. Torog worked with Lewis alone twice more in Don't Give Up the Ship and Visit to a Small Planet. In 1960, Torog directed his first Elvis Presley film, G.I. Blues. This was a turning point for Elvis. Up until then, he had harbored ambitions of being a James Dean figure, playing brooding rebel roles in Love Me Tender, Jailhouse Rock, and King Creole. However, Colonel Tom Parker had different plans for the singer. G.I. Blues was Elvis's first film in two years following his return from the army, and would set the tone for future films A Euro A Few Girls, A Few Adventures, and a few songs along the way with weak plots and uninspired acting. When well made, this was an entertaining, light-hearted formula and Torog, now in his sixties, was an old hand at it. So impressed was Parker with his work that over the next eight years, Torog directed Elvis in eight more films, Blue Hawaii, Girls. 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 It happened at the World's Fair, Tickle Me, Spin Out, Double Trouble, Speedway, and Live a Little, Love a Little. Although some were better than if there's a Euro, and some were almost identical a Euro to Rog ensured that the films had pace, the comedy was delivered well, and the songs were well executed. Live a Little, Love a Little was his last film. Later years, in 1968, Torog retired from directing. He later taught at the University of California School of Cinema and remained a board member of the Directors Guild. Toward the end of his life he became blind. In his last years, he served as director of the Braille Institute in Los Angeles. Torog died on April 7, 1981 in Palm Desert, California, at the age of 82. His ashes were scattered into the Pacific Ocean. For his contribution to the motion picture industry, Norman Torog has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1600 Vine Street. Awards and nominations, 1931 Academy Award for Best Director, 1938 Venice Film Festival Mussolini Cup for Best Film, 1939 Academy Award nomination for Best Director, 1960 Star on the Walk of Fame for Motion Pictures, dedicated on February 8, 1960 at 1600 Vine Street. 1966 Laurel Award nomination for Director, 4th place, 1967 Laurel Award nomination for Director, 5th place, 1968 Laurel Award nomination for Director, 8th place, Filmography, from 1920 to 1968, Torog directed 180 films. The following is a partial list of his feature films. 1920s, The Fly Cop with Larry Semon, 1930s, Skippy with Jackie Cooper, Newly Rich with Mitzi Green, Huckleberry Finn with Jackie Cooper, Suki with Jackie Cooper and Robert Coogan, The Phantom President with George M. Cohen, Claudette Colbert, and Jimmy Durante A Bedtime Story with Morris Chevalier, We're Not Dressing with Bing Crosby, Carol Lombard, and George Burns, The Big Broadcast of 1936 with Bing Crosby, Ethel Merman, Dorothy Dandridge, and Glenn Miller, 
Rhythm on the Range with Bing Crosby and Francis Farmer, Mad About Music with Deanna Durbin and Herbert Marshall, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer with Tommy Kelly and Jackie Moran, Boys Town with Spencer Tracy and Mickey Rooney, 1940s, Broadway Melody of 1940 with Fred Astaire and Eleanor Powell, Little Nellie Kelly with Judy Garland, Design for Scandal with Rosalind Russell and Walter Pigeon A. Yanker Deaton with Mickey Rooney, Presenting Lily Mars with Judy Garland and Van Heflin, Girl Crazy with Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland, The Canterville Ghost co-directed with Jules Dassin, The Bride Goes Wild with Van Johnson and June Allison, Words and Music with June Allison, Perry Como, Judy Garland, Gene Kelly, Mickey Rooney, and Sid Karras, 1950s, Please Believe Me with Deborah Kerr, Robert Walker and Peter Lawford, The Toast of New Orleans with Catherine Grayson, Mario Lanza, and David Niven, Room for One More with Cary Grant, Jumping Jacks with Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, The Stooge with Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, The Caddy with Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis and Donna Reed, Lights Diamond Jubilee, Living It Up with Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis and Janet Lee, You're Never Too Young with Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, Partners with Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, The Birds and the Bees with George Goebel, Mitzi Gaynor, and David Niven, The Fuzzy Pink Nightgown with Jane Russell, Don't Give Up the Ship with Jerry Lewis, 1960s, Visit to a Small Planet with Jerry Lewis, G.I. Blues with Elvis Presley and Juliet Prowse, All Hands on Deck with Pat Boone, Blue Hawaii with Elvis Presley, Joan Blackman and Angela Lansbury, Girls. 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 With Elvis Presley and Stella Stevens, Palm Springs Weekend with Troy Donahue and Connie Stevens, It Happened at the World's Fair with Elvis Presley and Gary Lockwood, Tickle Me with Elvis Presley and Jocelyn Lane. Sergeant Deadhead with Frankie Avalon Drive Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine with Vincent Price, Spin Out with Elvis Presley and Shelley for Bears, Double Trouble with Elvis Presley, Speedway with Elvis Presley, Nancy Sinatra, and Bill Bixby, Live a Little, Love a Little with Elvis Presley, Michelle Carey and Dick Sargent, References External links Norman Torog at the Internet Movie Database, Norman Torog at Find a Grave